Hello guys, how are you? Hope you all have eaten and rest enough, for today's video I wanna make another famous Indonesia's graphic truck. Most truck in Indonesia have a custom graphic and usually funny quotes, so today I want to make some of them using a Hot Wheels Highway Hauler too, and as usual, first I need to open this with what? Can anybody guess? Yes. Say it out loud. Louder. Acetone. Keep the plastic bubble for later use. I don't need the card though, I'll make a custom card design later. I don't know why, but I love big vehicle like this one. Oh well. I have two of them, so one is going to be sacrificed for this project. Let's unrivet with a 4mm drill bit, as usual. Make sure the drill bit is new or still sharp, it will make your job a lot easier. On my first time customization I use a dull and smaller bit. And it took me like 15 minutes to unrivet, now it only took me 2 minutes top, that only because I'm going slow, I don't want to over drill the die cast. And, it's open. Let's tear it apart and see how it many parts it has. Removing the tampo or livery would be easy with an eucalyptus oil. Just smear it on top of the tampo and wipe it with a clean tissue or cotton. Hmm, I think this technique could be used to make an old and rusty car effect where the decal have been faded out naturally. Next project maybe, haha. <laughs> Now let's measure the area for the custom decal. To make sure the size is right and fit perfectly the way you want it. I suggest you try to print it first on regular paper before going to water slide decal paper. And oh, I forgot to mention on my previous videos, that after you print on water slide decal paper you need to clear coat it, if you don't clear coat the paper. The decal will be too fragile and can be hard to apply, like this one. Cut the decal carefully. Ask your parents for help if you're under 12 years old, haha. <laughs> Teddy Koo Sendong. New pair the me is three. Try it on, before applying it permanently. Let's place the decal, clean all the surface from any leftover eucalyptus oil or debris. This is my first time using a setter. I'm expecting there would be a lot of surprises. See, told you, a new challenges, from this I learned that. Don't put the setter too much, the edges will wrinkle, and since this is a quite large decal, I have to do extra effort to dry and removing the air bubbles beneath the decal. Just a light swipe will do just fine. For the top part, I'm trying to do a different method, by placing the decal first and then swipe the setter on top of it, 
I love doing an experiment with something new. Now for the other side. Let's try light swipe of setter, and let's see which method is the best way. Yup, the light swipe is the best way. From this what have we learned so far boys? Use a setter as a first layer and don't use a setter too much. Don't forget to secure the decal with a clear coat. Using a masking tape to cover some areas, I want to make two stripes in the middle. Don't forget to mask the middle area to divide the stripes. Let's make a white stripes. Make sure the paint have dry, and remove the masking tape very carefully and slowly. Ah the tires have arrived, time to unbox it, and install it. I bought two set of tires, one for this truck, and another one is for another project. I try to loosen the clamp and not cut it entirely, so I can put the new axle back. Let put them all back together. Time for spinning shot, are you ready? Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and share it to the world. Also don't forget to breath and enjoy a cup of coffee, until the next video, ciao.